up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to the Liverpool West Ham post-match reaction video. What a big, big win for Liverpool. It wasn't a very high quality game in terms of, uh, you know, Liverpool probably should have taken more of their chances. West Ham also could have easily scored two or three goals. Uh, defensively, Liverpool were a little bit shaky. We got caught out on some uh, long balls and counter-attacks. Let me know who was your man of the match in the comments below and how do you see the title race unfold? That's the big question for today because Liverpool are now three points behind Man City who play Man United tomorrow and in the Manchester derby anything can happen. Man United have beaten Man City previously in Manchester at the Etihad I mean and Liverpool could have got off to an absolute flyer. I don't know maybe Salah after the Africa Cup of Nations maybe he has a little bit of hangover after that tournament but uh, he missed uh, some sitters today. Salah should have probably scored at least two goals. In the first minute a long ball finds Salah, he races clear and from like 11-12 yards out he shoots straight at Fabianski if he shoots at the corner it's probably a goal but I don't want to criticize Salah too much because he has 19 goals and 10 assists in the Premier League that's still an insane amount of goals and assists he's leading the goal scoring chart and the assist chart and Jota and Mane are now joint second with 12 goals. Liverpool have the top three goal scorers in the Premier League, which is absolutely brilliant and absolutely bonkers. And Mane scored a fantastic goal after a Trent Alexson Arnold assist. Trent whips in a cross from the right hand side. It's a trademark Trent Alexson Arnold cross. And Mane beats the outside tap and beats the defender to the ball and side foots it into the goal. And it looked onside on the first replay and then they put the lines there and it was just onside by a fraction. But thankfully VAR gave the goal. I was very nervous when we waited for VAR to give the goal or not. And uh, also two statistics, uh, which is brilliant. Trenox Ronald has beaten his own record and he now has his best ever season in terms of giving assists. That was his 16th assist of the campaign and there is still like 30-35% of the season left so Trent could easily get to 20 assists a season he's better than ever and he's improving every year which is absolutely brilliant he's the best right back in the world and also what do you think about Virgil van Dijk setting a new record for a single club for the most unbeaten home games in the Premier League, which is absolutely amazing. Virgil van Dijk still hasn't lost a Premier League game at Anfield, which is absolutely mind-blowing to me, uh, thinking that he is now at Liverpool for like, what, three, four seasons? Absolutely brilliant, and it just shows what a colossus Virgil van Dijk is. And after Mane scored, Liverpool also really dominated the first half, but then West Ham had a flurry of chances where there is an over simple over the top through ball and that's the problem with Liverpool's high line of defending if you beat the offside trap then it's incredibly incredibly dangerous because um, the West Ham's attacker was going on goal he chips Allison and the ball is going into the net but Trenarx Ronald somehow races back and clears it off the line and then the second shot is blocked by Konate and then Trenarx Ronald goes and does this to the referee like why aren't you flagging for offside but that's the thing it wasn't offside it just looked miles offside but the ball was perfectly timed by the West Ham midfielder to release the attacker I'm not sure who it was maybe for Jared Bowen but uh, it was absolutely brilliant defending my Trenarx Ronald there is a myth going around and some pundits are saying this that Trent can't defend and that's an absolute ludicrous claim. You don't watch Liverpool games regularly if you say Trent Alex Ronald can't defend. You should watch today's game because Trent made some incredible interceptions and defending contributions to the Liverpool victory and these are the kind of games that you have to grind out and win if you want to win the Premier League title because Liverpool were far away from their absolute best Luis Diaz was absolutely electric once again, he was going at people and he probably should have scored as well. He, Luis Diaz had a run where he picked the ball up in, the, in his own half and then he races clear, he beats like four defenders before 
the last defender fouls him just outside the penalty area. It was like this close to the penalty. And then Trenorx Ronald uh, almost scores from the free kick. It was an absolutely mesmerizing run, something that Messi used to do in his prime. And Luis Diaz, I'm not saying he's Messi, but he is a brilliant player and he seamlessly slotted into the Liverpool side. Absolutely love to watch him play. And it's a big, big thing that Luis Diaz started ahead of Jota, who Liverpool probably trying to ease him back after his uh, small injury. And that's the big, big compliment for Liverpool now, that we can rotate the front three without losing any quality. Because uh, Jota will probably start against Inter and maybe Manik will go back to the left wing. Mane started up front and he scored the goal and he can play as a striker as well, Mane, it's a, he's absolutely brilliant there. And uh, also West Ham in the second half had the chance where Jared Bowen was racing clear and Andy Robertson at the last second with the last dish defending denies him the goal scoring opportunity but to be fair West Ham should have scored when Lanzini does a fake shot uh, Konate uh, goes away and then with the goal gaping and Alisson only to beat he shoots two yards over the bar it was an absolute sitter which Lanzini missed and to be fair Antonio also had a chance which was another through ball to beat the Liverpool offside trap and Antonio uh, does a fake shot, uh, Konate, or well, no, it was Robertson. He tries to get the ball away, but Antonio somehow retains position. And Nabi Keita races back, busting a gut, busting his lungs to get back. And at the last second, when Antonio was already shooting and the ball is already going on goal, Nabi Keita blocks the shot uh, for a corner. Absolutely magnificent defending, defending by Liverpool. Some of the defending today was really first, first class. It was absolutely brilliant. I loved this game. It was nail-biting stuff until the 96th minute, but Liverpool held on, thankfully. And in the second half, we maybe didn't create, you know, we created a lot more chances than West Ham, but we didn't create maybe as many clear-cut chances as it is in the first half. On the balance of play, Liverpool only just about deserved this win, but it could have been 4-3 with the amount of chances that both teams created. Alisson had to make some big saves, but mostly the defenders made incredible blocks, including Konate, Van Dijk, Trenorx Ronald. Van Dijk also made a little bit of a mistake when, when you know, he went up to a head with a head, Antonio to challenge a header, and it, the ball just bounces off his head, and that's how Jared Bowen got in behind. But the, 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 those mistakes by Van Dijk are very few and far between. Thankfully, he doesn't commit them very often. The most important thing is Liverpool got the win, the big three points, and we are right behind Man City, breathing down their neck, and they have to be nervous, Man City. They are not in great form. They lost, and then they only won against Everton because Rodri's handball wasn't given, which was an absolute disgrace of a decision. So let's see what Man City do tomorrow, but Man United are also under pressure. Arsenal, at the moment are in pole position to finish in the top four. So Man United need a win, so they hopefully will get something at the Etihad. But if not, the season is still long and many things can happen. And remember, Ruben Diaz is out. Ruben Diaz is out for four to six weeks. And that he is the Van Dijk of Man City. Also, Ake is out with an injury. So Man City only had two fit centre-backs. Let's see how they cope against Manchester United. And also, they have some other tough games coming up. Liverpool play Inter and then Brighton next. We need to uh, get through Inter in the Champions League. We need to beat Brighton and then we play Arsenal in the Premier League. Uh, and I think the Man United game is rescheduled because of the FA Cup. But uh, the most important thing is Liverpool have won again. I'm really happy about it. Another clean sheet as well, which is brilliant. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a nice day. See you later. Bye.